In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for Ba3N2. This is barium nitride. So barium nitride, that's an ionic compound. So let's write our three barium atoms and our two nitrogen atoms. Barium is a metal, nitrogen is a non-metal. We're gonna treat this as an ionic compound. That means the electrons will be transferred from the metal to the non-metal. So barium is in group two on the periodic table. That means barium has two valence electrons. So each one of these bariums will have two valence electrons. Nitrogen is in group 15, sometimes called 5A. It has five valence electrons. So each nitrogen, five valence electrons. So now we'll move electrons. We'll transfer electrons from the barium to the nitrogen. Each nitrogen has five. If we can get eight for each nitrogen, that'll be an octet. That'll be very stable. So we move these electrons over here. And now this nitrogen, it has an octet. It has eight valence electrons very stable. Let's do it for this one down here. And you can see why we need three barium atoms for every two nitrogen atoms. This nitrogen, it has an octet. Because each nitrogen has gained three electrons, electrons are negative, it has a three minus ionic charge. Each barium, it's lost two electrons. Electrons are negative, so it lost two negative charges. Each barium is now two plus. To show that the electrons were lost from the metal to the non-metal, that they're not shared like in a covalent bond, let's put brackets around each nitrogen here. You'll often see brackets around the barium atoms as well. So this is the Lewis structure for Ba3N2, barium nitride. Because we have positive and negative ions, they're gonna be attracted, and that's what forms that ionic bond between the barium and the nitrogen atoms. But the Lewis structure here is useful to show how the bariums, they've transferred their electrons to the nitrogens and why we need three barium atoms for every two nitrogen atoms in the Lewis structure for barium nitride, Ba3N2. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.